Okay, hello and good evening YouTube. Welcome back to more Flat Out 2. Every time that I wanted to play this again, I just felt like, oh god, no. But anyway, um, yeah, we're not going to do that first, because the last video was a little miserable. But maybe I'll do it later. I only have an hour to record, so it's going to be a little rough. A little rough trying to finish this, but yeah. Anyway, here we are again, and it's been a couple of months, actually. It's just that this game... I remember how much agony it put me through, and how much I really don't even, you know, like it that much. Like, I mean, it's a good game, but the problem is, it's tough. And I like having things handed to me. I like feeling successful in games. I hate challenges. Like, for example, falling into the river. That would be very detrimental to my efforts to win this race. But anyway, I haven't played in so long that I've very well forgotten how to drive. I sure hope I finish higher up than last. But you know, like, flat out one, it was a tough game, but I got through it somehow. And this game is a tough game. And many years ago, I managed to get through it. But that was daily rituals of um, driving, owning my skills, doing the same race over and over. And then finally, when I eventually did win the game, I remember saying to myself, wow, I hope I never have to do that again. And look at this, I have to do it again. But the big difference between this game and Flat Out 1 is this game I have had more years of experience in. And as opposed to Flat Out 1, I should be better equipped to actually do good in the races since I've had so much experience driving these cars. However, when I did play this game after, um, shit, after winning this, you know, career mode, was mostly just the stunt game. I mean, I barely ever did any races. And when it was, it was a special event, like the Crash Alley. Yeah, that place was fun. I was only doing special events and not really anything beyond that. Like these regular races, I didn't do. So look at Sofia Martinez driving the cheapest car in the game, obliterating the competition in not only this event, but I remember in previous events, over the course of this series, and probably everyone that's ever played this game's existence. Like, she eventually starts... Well, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil these drivers' cars, or the cars in general, that come in the future. But Sophia generally drives the weakest car, and Jack generally drives the fastest car. And no one really drives like, you know, in burnout games, there's the, um, you have, you have all the different cars in that class, and then you have the, um, Dominator one that's supposed to be the fastest of everyone. Yeah, the fastest of everyone in this game, the Dominator of each series, no one drives it. You can purchase it for yourself, like, I think before the final championship to decide, you know, whether or not you're going on to the next one. Well, no, actually. Just like in Flat Out 1, there isn't a final race to determine if you're ready to move on to the next level. You just gotta complete the championships. And, you know, what sucks about this game is there are noticeably less um, events to choose from from the menu screen, but they're all championships. They're all fucking championships. Which means that you have to go race after race after race after race anyway. So there's more races in this game. Which is fantastic. And since it's a championship and not a singles race going on, if you screw up once and you lose the championship, you gotta start the entire championship over again. And boy does that suck. Like Midnight Club 3. Their tournament races if you wanted to restart a single race, you had to restart the entire championship. 
So you had to make absolutely sure that you completed every race to your best ability because if you're finishing last in a single race, you gotta buckle down and dominate the rest of the championship no matter what. So I got enough money, I'm gonna take a look at the upgrade shop quick. We've all seen it, we've all seen what it can do. However, you just need some more parts to make a dominating vehicle. Because if we didn't, that would suck. Um, the reason that the parts in the previous... In the, the first two parts were very long because I accidentally closed out of Elgato before I was able to um, complete the... What's it called? The um, MP4 version. So I had to take the um, clips from the... Uh, Elgato library section of the that it creates in your documents. And I had to take the footage from there. However, that footage does not have audio in Vegas. And every time I tried to edit it in Movie Maker, it always crashed Movie Maker. So basically I couldn't do anything but upload them all as their own you know, part. So that's why the first part's 50 minutes long. That's why the second part's 21 minutes long. I hope I never screw this up again because I figure out how you can redo exports and all that crazy business. But yeah, for the um, sake of this channel, I hope that never happens again. Because this series should be well over 10 parts by now and, you know, I was just thinking about putting this on a never-ending hiatus, and like when I'm 25, just move on to flat out three. But, you know. However, I've got to come and face the facts now. Summer is almost over when I'm recording this, so I'm going to need to really start recording everything that I possibly can for, from here to next month because and you know next month is literally one day from now isn't it? Nope, two days from now is Friday and today's Thursday. I mean, I mean Wednesday! Today is Wednesday and August 1st is Friday. It's Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Everyone's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Speaking of Burnout 3, there's the, the downtown circuit where those little pillars are. The downtown America, I'm pretty sure, that um, has those pillars on the side of the road and you need to duck and weave between them all the time to get to it. You have to keep your speed going through into that corner, but you also need the speed coming out of it. So you need to be full throttle at all times, which means that you're going to fly to the outside, to the sidewalks and crap, and end up, you know, hitting shit, which sucks. So then you need to duck back into the um, actual road. And doesn't this suck? I have to back up on the track, and now I'm in port, which isn't going to help me in the long run, right? Now I'm backwards again, and pass. So here we are back at the pillars I was just explaining. Yeah, well, that's really annoying in Burnout 3. Burnout 3 is a hard enough game on its own. I've completed the game in 96%. Actually, I might have gotten to 97 now, because I did manage to complete one of those special events. with the, um, pretty sure it was the Formula One car that I managed to do that with. Because they've got Formula One cars in that game. As if it wasn't hard enough to control vehicles in that game. You also get to drive Formula One cars! And rubber banding! That goes to the, your enemies, but not to you. You can't rubber band, but they sure as hell can rubber band. You know, if there's any game, you know, if I ever wanted to do a top 10 list for most rubber banding in a video game, Burnout 3, Midnight Club, 
How about most obvious rubber band? Because then I'd have a lot more options to choose from, like Sonic Adventure. Now that's pretty obvious rubber band. However, that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is to drive really fast, crash into something, lose the race, and then get into Rage War. Ah, uh -huh. see? I correlated this series with another one by saying Rage War. I'm so clever. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. This shortcut seems to be screwing me up a whole lot, so what I'm gonna do is go the long way, and hopefully it doesn't screw me up. Yeah, it's still, it's still screwing me up. Hit that, hit something, slow down. Jack. You ain't getting Jack, Jack. So go away. Go away. Go away. By the way, anyone watching the Alfred Trout videos that I keep posting? Yeah, that's me trying hard. Not really. That's me trying to make decent um, guitars, pieces, and really lazy writing. Because those were literally improv songs. Like, most of my songs that I sing to myself are improv. And then the ones that I actually try to write are really crappy. You know, doesn't that just, doesn't that just suck? How you can make an improv song just off the top of your head like, Oh, oh, bitches in the house. Throw it down before, before they start making switches. Throwing it down on the big belly bitches. There was actually a rap that I made called Big Belly Bitches one day. And, um, unfortunately, I never wrote it down, so I've completely forgotten it. Because it was improv for a while, and then I started tweaking it. And then, like, about an hour later, I had a pretty good hook to that. Throwing it down for them big belly bitches. <laughs> 